Women Magnet Fragrances Part 2. So you really wanted to highlight more fragrances that will make guys smell so amazing that they will attract women like a magnet. So here we are. Hi, welcome to Rot the Rebel. I'm here with the one and only Sandra Salomon yes. Fragrance. Hi everyone. Make sure you head on over to Sandra Salomon Fragrances channel and sub to her. So you really wanted to highlight more amazing men's fragrances that will attract women like a magnet yes. and here we are so without further ado let's do this the first one is Ooh. from Parfums de Marly and I have Sedley now this is a wonderful one that is fresh it's kind of aromatic it has a musky side and it's slightly soapy to my nose and that's the weird thing because I don't like soapy fragrances but I do love this one and this is really elegant I know you love it and I know that women love this one on a man and it's one million elixir from Paco Rabanne so this is sweet it's fruity it's green it's aromatic it has an apple note there's the verna and of course vanilla and women loves that kind of sweetness on a man and that's why this is a women magnet and we have a freshie coming up and it is Chanel Le Laurent Sport O oh, Extreme. Yeah. This is like a perfect freshie. It's fresh, it's aromatic, it has a woody side, something musky. You did wear this quite a lot this summer. Yeah. And every time you had it on, I thought it smelled amazing. And you got like a ton of compliments yes, from me. But you also got compliments from others when we were out. Yeah. And it went to the point where I was jealous of the kind Whoa. of compliments and the amount of compliments you got. Do not be got. jealous of other well, women I want compliments. enjoying me. No, no, everyone should enjoy you, but I also Wait, want compliments. Wait, what do you mean everyone should enjoy me? That sounds weird. <laughs> if, okay. everyone wants, if, if anyone wants to enjoy him, you can... No, I'm just kidding. The next one is another one that has this soapy touch. And that's so weird because I don't like soapy fragrances. But the thing about this one is that it's also powdery. It's also warm. It's slightly floral and it's extremely elegant. And it is Prada Lom mm. Intense. And the funny thing about this one is that... Every time you have it on, yeah. I give you a compliment. Yeah, you I'm do. always like, oh my God, what is yeah, that? Yeah, you absolutely love this one. <laughs> I do. Yeah, guys, you heard me talk about this one so much. And the reason for that is quite simple. This is powdery with that sort of a Prada Lomb kind of scent, but it's powdery done with way more edge and way more intense kind of powderiness. And now it's time to talk about one that is quite cool and quite recently released, yeah. I think. And it's Gisada Gisada. Gisada Gisada, yeah. Gisada Ambassador Intense. This one has a ton of notes. It's like 30 yeah. or 40. Yeah. I'm not going to even try to mention them all, but there is something spicy. There is incense. There is something fruity, ambery, woody. There's raspberry. I think there's toffee and it smells really good. So Gisara Ambassador Intense is a fragrance that's quite new in my collection but I already received quite a few compliments with it and I do feel this is quite a unique kind of head turner. I have a comparison with this one and Dior Sauvage Elixir and I also have a review of this one on my channel so make sure you check those out. And we have another powdery one coming up but I'm sorry I really love powdery fragrances but this one is also very woody and the woody note is sandalwood and the sandalwood in Santal 33 mm. from Le Labo is magical and intoxicating and it's something that it smells so different so unique but it's something that really creates reactions yeah. in people. You get sucked in by this. Yeah. You are like, oh my God, what is that? Yeah. And I know that you have had so many reactions. Yeah, this one. this one is the one I call pure magic. And the reason for that is because whenever I put this one on, I mean, I can't walk outside <laughs> and not get some form of sort of a intense reaction. If I'm out shopping with this one on, the cashier or someone else will just stop me and say, okay, so what is it that you have on? I just gotta know. This to me is sandalwood done in a sort of a dusty and slightly powdery way. It smells absolutely fantastic. Yes, it's quite expensive, yeah. unfortunately, like a lot of Le Labos are. But this is one Le Labo I feel I just can't live without. And we have something sent from heaven coming up because Parfums de Marley's mm -hmm. Hawaiian, this one is divine. Yeah. And I can't stop sniffing it. It is sweet, it's warm, it's spicy. It has, I think it's cinnamon, there is some honey in there, probably some vanilla. 
and something a bit salty, maybe the ambergris. It is, it smells royal, it smells exclusive, Oof. and I just can't stop sniffing it. But what I do think about it is that this is actually so good. I'm really into use every kind of fragrance for any occasion that you like and that makes you smell good. But I think this is so special, so I don't think you should have it as an everyday cologne. Mm. I think it's really for special occasions. And we have one coming up with iris, mandarin orange, vanilla or tonka bean and leather. And it is Valentino Uomo Intense. I'm sorry, did you say Valentino Uomo Intense? Yeah. This is the sex bomb. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I was like, no, yeah. I'm doing this right. No, this is the sex bomb. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. So we have the sex bomb. There coming you up. go. So the sex bomb. This is more a sort of a dark kind of powdery. It's powdery. It has leather and it has vanilla, and it's so good in such an attractive way. And I received so many quite intense compliments with it. That's the reason why I call it the sex bomb. The next one is one that I know that you say is fit for a king. Yes. It has saffron, it has nutmeg, it has the most fabulous and polished, elegant oud note, and it smells incredible. Yeah. So what can I say about oud for greatness that I have not said in <laughs> other videos? This is fit for a king. That's you. Yes, that's you. And this is such a magnificent attention grabber that will fill a room. And when it fills that room and when people get a whiff of it, oh my. And I had to bring something that is fresh, marine, a bit aromatic, and just something that I know all women love to smell on a man. And Missoni Wave mm. is not just a freshie. It's a freshie with depth and personality and I am not that into freshies but this one makes me go crazy. Mm. The best thing about this one is that it makes you smell like a ladies magnet no matter what you are going to do. So it's so easy to wear, it's so easy yeah. to use. Yeah this is a fantastic attractive freshie and I do want to mention that you can usually find this quite cheap. And now we have something that is sweet, white floral, powdery and woody and it is Nishane, a hundred silent ways. It is white floral. And a lot of guys think that they can't wear white floral fragrances, but the truth is, and please trust me on this, white florals on a man in the perfect blend like this with a woody base and something sweet is so intoxicating on a man. 100 Silent Ways truly has something quite intoxicating about it. It's truly different and people will become curious when they get away from it. And when they get away from it, they will most likely try to get closer to you because it's so good. Now, I would love to know from you guys, have you tried any of these and how do you feel about them? And please do comment with your most favorite attractive, with your current most favorite attractive women magnet fragrance. Please do drop a like on this video. Thank you, I really would appreciate it. Make sure you head on over to Sandra Damar Fragrance's channel. It's up to her, it's up to me, and I'll see you in the next one.